I'm gonna put this down a bit. So I just released my EP, Hopeful, July 19th. You guys heard of it? Yeah. Well, I have six songs on there, and I'm gonna be singing three songs, starting off with My Love and My Friend. and goes in the moment it can all just float away but I ain't going nowhere I'll be with you even when we're old and gray the moment that my heart stops burning is when the clocks stop turning Ooh, I'll be there till the end I'll be there till the end mm -hmm. I'll be there till the end I'll be there till the end My lover, my friend mm -hmm. Life, it waits for no one If you're not careful, it can all just pass you by I've got to learn, learn how to slow down Cause damn you make it good to be alive The moment that my heart stops burning Is when the world stops turning Ooh, I'll be there till the end I'll be there till the end I'll be there till the end, I'll be there till the end, my lover, my friend, my friend. Ooh, I'll be there till the end, I'll be there till the end, my lover, my friend. This next song is about a relationship, having that feeling about the things you guys did, but you know, not wanting that person back. I've been waiting for the day you say you want me back. I've been alone, but baby, I can seem to understand. You threw my heart into the flames I took our pictures out the frames I tried to throw them out But I still keep them just in case If you're wondering if I still love you After so much time has passed Since you asked I don't really want you back I just want the life we had I don't really want you Back, no, I don't. And I don't really want you close. I just needed you to know that I don't really want you back. No, I don't. And I remember all the times you said you had my back. Now we're separated, going down a separate path oh, You threw my heart into the flames I took our pictures out the frames I tried to throw them out, but I still keep them just in case If you're wondering if I still love you after so much time away Here's what I say I don't really want you back I just want the life we had I don't really want you back No, I don't I don't And I don't really want you close I just needed you to know That I don't really want you back No, I don't But I don't want to let you go no, I don't want to let you go Oh, I don't want to let you go No, I don't want to let 
called I Don't Want You Back. And this next song is my current single. It's called Girls. Lately, I ain't got time on my hands much. Ay. I'm trying to stay focused. Keep on hitting my phone up. Oh, say, come and get I've got me a problem. I want to give with all of them all. When I get too close, like the bad ones most, I can't say no. Keep thinking about them, girls. They get in my way, got myself thinking about them all day, girls. They all I can see, I don't care if they out of my reach, girls. Can't hold myself in my weakness, girls. I can't leave them alone, I wanna get to know these. I wanna get to know these. I wanna get to know these girls. Oh. So tempting. They put in pictures in my mind. Oh. I'm trying, trying, but they doing all the things I like. Hey, say, come and get I've got me a problem. I want to give with all of them all. When I get too close, like the bad ones most, I can't say no. Keep thinking about them, girls. They get in my way, got myself thinking about them all day, girls. They all I can see, I don't care if they out of my reach, girls. Can't hold myself in my weakness, girls. Can't leave them alone, I wanna get to know these. I wanna get to know these. I wanna get to know these girls. Oh, I wanna get to know these. I wanna get to know these. I wanna get to know oh, 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 girls. Thank you. Give it up for AJ Mitchell and Henny. Give it up for Henny. Thank you guys so much for coming out. You sound amazing. We've all been binge listening. Thank you. Thank you. All right, serious question. Okay. Do you make ladies nervous? Because they were all really talkative five minutes ago, and now everybody is so <laughs> quiet. Uh -oh. Even mom's laughing over here. <laughs> uh -oh. So we're going to be asking a lot of questions from the audience. Cool. But first, welcome to South Florida. Yeah, I love it here. How has your experience been so far? So far, it's been good. I mean, it rained earlier. I haven't seen rain in a yep, while. Yep, that so is that a proper cool. Miami welcome. It was like for 20 minutes, and it was gone. That's so. right. That's exactly how it goes here. <laughs> We know when we wake up in the morning, we're like, it's going to be gorgeous tonight. Can't wait to go out because yeah. it's pouring. So we're like, eh, if hey, it rains earlier. Illinois, so it's like the same thing. I Rain was going to say. Minutes, and suddenly I'm like, what? It's confusing. So is this your first time really traveling like the country and enjoying yeah. people from all over listening to your music? It's so cool. 
So right now, are you just staring into the audience, taking it all in, thinking, one day I'm going to be packing out stadiums. It's so cool to be able to have these <laughs> intimate that'd experiences. That'd be a dream. You're manifesting it, right? Yeah. We're going to be talking a lot about dreams today. So we got um, Al P out in the audience. Hi, Al. So, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Long we know. See, bro. Yeah. Cool. We know we've got your big fans in here right now, so I'll give everybody the heads up that they might be seeing a little AJ Mitchell in this week's weekly wrap up. Mm -hmm. hey. Yeah. We just recorded it right now, and uh, hey. Weekly wrap up episode 34. AJ Mitchell is going to be the feature for That's it. That's right. We Full. love it. Check it out. It's some, some new music, right? The weekly wrap up? Pretty much. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So you just performed for us. Tell us all about girls. All about girls? Yes. So what do you want to know about girls? Oh, you tell me. You're the one that's writing songs about them. <laughs> um, well, I wrote the song with my friend Romans. Uh, I, went, I went to his place and he had this really cool 80s bass like, synth um, that he played for me. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. Um, <clears throat> so I went in, this, in the booth and I just sang a couple melodies. We kind of placed those melodies, but we wanted them to like first verse and that pre, which is like the, uh, 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 and then that's kind of how, how it got put together. And he was like, well, what do you want to write about? He's like, so what's been on your mind? I was like, well, what's on my mind is like food right now, for real. <laughs> and then girls, obviously. And then, so that's kind of how, how it got started thinking about girls. Those are two very relatable subjects, 100%. food and girls, right? <laughs> So we'll start out with a couple questions from the audience. We definitely want to hear all about your new EP. We're so excited for you. I've been binge listening, and I know I'm not oh, the sweet. only one, right? Oh, we favorite? even have, um, I love girls. But you want to know something? It's not just about the music. Watching the music videos, getting the full experience, I think yeah. I can really appreciate the way your music has changed. Yeah. Even your music video, like, your music video is like a movie. Yeah, you definitely got to watch the music video. It totally, like, changes, like, it's the way so, you see the song. Exactly. So I think that I love girls so much because I can appreciate, like, you're coming in, like your career yeah. is booming, all the growth that you've had yeah. in just seeing this song. And how does it feel to look and see that music video and just be like, wow, that is. I mean, like you said, it's like a movie. So it's, it's so cool to like look at. I'm like, hey, that's me. It is. That's it's incredible. Me, at, there I am. So <laughs> what about your, your new EP? So what do you have in store for us? What can we be thinking about for the future? What can we expect? More songs for sure. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you tour this February. Guys. Yes. Well, we are so excited. Am I right? Am I the only one that's excited? Hey, yeah, that was hey, your cue yeah, to get excited. Who else is excited about the new EP? Hey. Maybe I just said it in a confusing way the first time, right? <laughs> Al, you got a first question for us? Yeah, Jamie, what's up? Where you at, Jamie? Jamie, uh, Jamie. All right, here's the microphone over here. Um, hi, I was wondering hi. who in the future that you would like to collaborate with? Um, I think I would love to collaborate with uh, if you're the John Billion, or I would love to collaborate with uh, Ariana Grande. She has amazing moves. Yes. Yeah. Let's do that. That'd be cool. You heard, Ari? <laughs> Let's make that happen. Please. So speaking of collaborations, we're talking music right now. Uh -huh. You started writing, well, even before that. You're from Illinois. Yeah. Moved to LA. Mm -hmm. That's a big move. It's a big move, yeah, for sure. And you were so young. Yeah. So then you started working and getting your hands in everything, and you were on The Voice Snapchat. Yeah, that was Kind crazy. of a huge deal. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, actually, I didn't even know I was going to be on there. Like, someone took a video and actually sent it in, and they were like, yo, you won. I was like, what? So that was, that was pretty cool. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, like, really would cool. love to be anywhere near Adam Levine, so the fact oh, that you yeah. got to work with him. When he said my name, he's like, AJ Mitchell. I was like, Adam Levine said my name. That's pretty incredible. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, and what else? While well, you were out there, you're working with a lot of other people, yeah, working a lot of working YouTube with, videos. And yeah, just working with a ton of different producers, a ton of different like songwriters. When I signed with Epic Records in March, uh, every congratulations, day. by the way. Thank that's you. Epic. Huge. Hey. hey. Um, See, so yeah, after that, I was just like in the studio almost every single day. But it was really cool because I got to meet a lot of uh, different songwriters, a lot of different producers, and it helped, helped my craft and like songwriting. And right, and you've been writing music since you were so young, started playing instruments when you were how old? When I was like four, I started learning how to play the piano. And then started writing when you were? Six. So by the time like you literally could write letters, you were writing music. Yeah. And then at 13, you're, you wrote a song that you're literally performing now. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel to be singing lyrics that you <clears throat> wrote so long ago that people who are even older than you can still relate to? It's, it's crazy, it's crazy to me, like I never thought that song, I'd be able to like put it out on a platform and people could listen to it and 
especially uh, being on a stage and singing it in front of you guys and you guys like singing the words, it, it means a lot. It means a lot to me yeah. just being next to you. I can't even imagine what it's like for people to be singing lyrics that you were feeling and you still feel. It time. is. I can imagine. I'm telling you, I was just telling them I'm the worst singer ever. I know my boss is, but he's probably nodding. The worst singer. You and you are? Yes. Let's hear karaoke. I don't believe it. Oh let's my hear. God. <laughs> karaoke is terrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> another day um all right, all right, the point enough. is i will never experience that but i get so much joy out of being able to be here and be the person in between a singer and a songwriter and everybody who's out there experiencing your music and i can totally feel what an amazing experience that is for you so i'm stoked for you but thank you you're traveling now you're sharing Launching. your music with everybody mm -hmm. did you think that this was where you were going to be at 17. no i thought i was going to be in school Still, unfortunately, you know. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah. Did you always know that you wanted to be in music or was that kind of a hobby you thought would always be something that you enjoyed on the side? Uh, I always knew I wanted to do music my whole life because, I, I mean, that's, that's just what I loved. I mean, ever since I was a kid, I was always doing that. And then when I got to high school, I was like, I need to figure this out because I got to get out of school. I hate it. No one hates it more than I do. And that's a fact. Fact, got it. Fact. It's one of the few things we're going to learn today for sure. So nobody hates school more than you do. You love girls and you love food. Yeah. <laughs> we're keeping a tally. So what's your 10-year plan then? Like My where do you see or say like you didn't know you'd be here, but you're here now. What's your five-year plan? Where do you think you'll be in five? Where do you think you're going to be in 10? Man, hopefully touring. Maybe get a Grammy. That would be cool. Um, I think we can help you manifest that, right? Everybody yeah, wants to see you? AJ Mitchell get a Grammy. That would be, that'd be tight. See, that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you think you are going to be doing with other artists? We're talking about collaborating right now. So who do you think you're going to work with? Who do you think you're going to be able to write with? Um, I mean, I would love, I mean, Bruno, I've always looked up to Bruno Mars. I mean, he has a great voice and I, I really respect him as a songwriter. It's really cool. I mean, Julia Michaels is a great songwriter. I mean, there's so, there's so many people, there's so many people I'd love to work with. People that you've been covering for years. Yeah. And what about covers? Is that something that you still want to keep doing while you're coming out with your own music? Uh, I mean, every once in a while, I'll probably, you know, do a cover on Instagram, just so my fans, um, you know, just give them more content. You know, slow down a little bit on the covers and focus more on my... We covers. were naming all of our favorites earlier today, so I don't think anybody wants you to slow down on any music <laughs> whatsoever. No, never, never. I'll never slow down. Well, that's good. Al, do you have another question for us? Yes, Flora. Flora, where you at, Flora? All right, Flora. So you have a pretty awesome question right here. You ready? What's something you always do before performing? I'm sorry, what was that? What's something you always do before performing? Before performing? Warm up, definitely. Do my vocal warm ups. Eat some pineapple. It's good for the throat. Drink I, some tea. I had no idea. Yeah. So that's your thing. Pineapple thing. and tea. Pineapple, tea, warm up. So just to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to really get to know you, we're going to do some fire off questions. Oh, great. All right. So the rule of the game is that you got to answer them as quickly as possible. Okay. You can totally pass because I, I read that you refuse to give like a favorite color because it changes all the time. It does change. So, so non -dis like, this is a disclaimer. You're allowed to change your mind later. Okay, cool. Okay. Are okay. you ready? Yeah. All right. I change my mind. You guys ready? Cats or dogs? Dogs. What favorite candy? Uh, cookies and cream. Hershey's. Favorite singer? Bruno Mars. Uh, best concert you've ever seen live? Bruno Mars. Best book? <laughs> <laughs> you want to skip it? <laughs> skip. I don't read books. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm reading a Michael Jackson book right now. Okay. So, Is that a good one? It's really good. For now. Disclaimer. We can use it. Yeah. Um, movie genre? Scary. Favorite movie? Insidious. Favorite song? At last. Eddie James. Biggest fear? No fears. Ooh, most embarrassing moment. Basketball game, eighth grade. Threw in the ball, got it, turn around, knock someone down, we both fell, it was embarrassing. You seem over it. I'm over it. Okay, that's good. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Favorite hobby outside of music? Basketball. Favorite piece of technology that's not your phone? Xbox. Favorite app? Uh, Tetris. <laughs> Favorite instrument? Piano. Coolest abandoned spot you've explored? Hotel. Hidden talent? I could solve a Rubik's Cube. What is it? 
A Rubik's cube. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And something on your bucket list. Go to Egypt. Go to Egypt. Okay, I think we like know everything about you now. Yeah, right. That's, I think that's everything. Yeah. Do we have an, Al? Do we have another question from the audience? Yes, Valeria. Valeria. All right. Um, what's your songwriting process like? Yeah. So, it kind of just depends. It could either start with a melody. Um, it could start like me just playing around on the piano. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I have so many ideas on my notes I'll, I'll go through, or I have vo voice memos I can go back to, but it, it normally starts with uh, like chord progressions, so like four chords, and then I'll just look through my ideas, see what I want to write about. That's kind of how it gets started. Yeah. So since we're talking about the writing process, since you moved, you're working with more people. Yeah. You're kind of finding your vibe, right? Because it's yeah. changed a lot over the last couple years. Definitely, definitely. So how would you describe what your sound is like? Yeah, I mean, before, in the beginning um, of my writing career, I didn't, I guess I kind of knew how to write songs, but I didn't know, like, how to format songs until I moved to Los Angeles and I worked with, you know, so many amazing songwriters that, have, you know, they've been writing their whole life, so I've learned so many techniques from them. But my s style, I guess you could say, is more like a cool, like, 80s kind of vibe. Because you're from the 80s. Yeah. And you know what that's all about. I time travel. Actually. Tell us how that is, how you got inspired by that, though. Did you listen to a lot of music from the 80s while you were growing up? Are your parents yeah, really into music? Yeah, growing up, I listened to so much music, like Michael Jackson, Prince, Elton John, um, I mean, uh, Stevie Wonder, Eddie James. I mean, I listen to so much. I, you know, I love all music. So you get a lot of inspiration from things that you've heard and then yeah. the things that you're living every day. And we had a couple questions before about what you're, um, when you're writing, if you only write about things you've experienced or if you're also writing about things that you just dream up. Most of the time, I write about things that are happening in my life because I feel like that's the easiest way to write. Because sometimes, I mean, also sometimes I could write about something that's made up, but the easiest way to write is something that's like personal. I guess it also helps when you're on stage and you're feeling all the things that you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So covers, mm -hmm. that's how we all know who you are, right? Well, that's how we did. And now you're taking over the mic all over the country. Yeah. So how did you decide from one day to the next, I am going to start mm -hmm. filming myself, I'm going to start posting these, and I'm hoping that one day people will just like them or comment on them and give me some feedback. I think it's because like, I was always writing songs and I was always singing, but no one knew about it besides my parents. Right. So I was like, you know, I want to see what other people would think. So that's when I started posting videos. And when you started posting the videos, what was the feedback that you were getting at the beginning? Everyone, I mean, in the beginning it was all my friends. So they're like, yo, bro, like, keep it up. It's really cool. Like, you're good. And then how did you go from a couple people telling you you're really good to having 1.5 million followers? It's insane. Like, I still no, really, we're taking notes. Like, how do we get 1.5 million followers? <laughs> it's a process. It's a process. It took me like a year and being really annoying. Being really annoying. What does that mean, though? Really share, because I think that there are people in the audience that so, are so yeah, moved sure, by it. For sure. I mean, in the beginning, um, I, I was posting videos, and nothing was really happening. So I was like, kind of hit up people. I was like, yo, can you give me a shout out, bro? That's where I am in my game right now. Yeah. So, so I was like asking people. Everyone, everyone said no. Like, no one gave me a shout out until one year later, this um, Instagram page it was called, like, Two Mejores Chicos. And it had one million followers. And they gave me a shout out. And I, like, I didn't even ask them. But I was at 1,000 followers at the time, and I woke up the next morning with 15,000 followers, and it was like the best day of my life. It was that crazy. is so exciting. Yeah. But that's still not 1.5 million. So how did you get to 1.5 million from there? <laughs> with, um, so yeah, I woke up with 15,000 followers. I was actually camping at the time. I was with my homies, and they were like, yo, bro, you're famous. They're like, what? What's going on? And uh, so I just kept posting you know, more content. Uh, about five, six months went by. I was at 80,000 followers. And uh, that's when I had a great opportunity to move to Los Angeles. Um, I was hanging out with this group and you know, we were all like helping each other out with followers, you know. Um, and that's, that's where I got to 1.5. So you were surrounding yourself with people <clears throat> that inspired you to really take initiative and make all these videos and really interact yeah, with people yeah, online. Yeah, it, like it was like a group and we all like made videos, like they had followers, like they, I got, they, they got my followers, I got their followers. Like. Yeah, and you spend a lot of, so how much time do you spend online interacting with everybody? your fans and making sure that you respond and that Almost you're every, every day every day every day and what was what is your advice for people who want to be singers or want to be able to share their craft online and either already started and aren't that motivated to post or just haven't started at all well i would just say you know be yourself and just stay consistent just keep doing it 
And what else do you love to do outside of posting and playing music and playing instruments? Like, what is the AJ Mitchell outside of what we're seeing on stage right now? I mean, I love sports. Like, I like to play basketball. Like, I'll go play volleyball. I like to play video. I play video games. But if I'm not doing that, I, li I just like to write songs as well. Like, if I'm not doing anything, I'm like, oh, I'll write a song. How much time do you actually get to be home and write songs or play video games? Re uh, recently, not, not too much. We're doing a lot of traveling, but before, maybe like an hour. That's hour nice, so. though. So, yeah. Okay, so hobbies. Do we have a lot of hobbies? Everybody in here, like, have things that they love that they do all the time? All right, we need to find some hobbies, girl, because it's good for you to have no some hobbies. hobbies. No? LP, we have more questions? Yes, we have Amy. Amy, where you at, Amy? Uh, boom. Oh, one second. Sorry. Oh, Amy's looking up her, her question. Oh. Okay. oh, yeah. Um, hey, Amy. <coughs> so this might sound like a weird question, but if you could eat at only one restaurant for the rest of your life, where would it be? That's a great question. We had a whole discussion about it. Has to be one restaurant, but you can order anything on the menu every time you go. <sighs> Jeez. No one said it was going to be easy to be here this at a Hits Live. I mean, fast food. I mean, I'll, I got an in and out right down the street. Probably in and out, to be honest. Burgers for life. For sure. I mean, I'd get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So, list of favorite foods, burgers tops it. Pizza, actually. Pizza. I was actually saying, I'm like, could you eat pizza every day for the rest of your life, though? I could. That cheese would kill me, though. That cheese would kill me, but I love pizza. I'll eat it anyways. Fair enough. <laughs> Burgers, <laughs> pizza. Al, what else we got? Yes, uh, Raquel Lopez. Raquel, where you at? Uh, here you go. Um, what's your craziest fan experience? Uh, honestly, I haven't had a crazy fan experience yet. Like... Honestly, every, every fan has been like really chill. Everyone's been really cool. Uh, I mean, one experience, I mean, nothing has been crazy, to be honest. Yeah, it's all been, it's all been cool. Like one time, I was, in, I was in Nashville, and you know, there was a girl who wasn't able to go to the meet and greet, and she was outside crying. And so I just opened up the door, and I was like, oh, hey, and then I talked to her, but I mean, that's not crazy, but that's a, I good, don't, a good moment that I had with the fan. I don't think you need to be wishing for crazy fan experiences. Yeah. <laughs> People don't normally come over and say that was awesome when they're telling us crazy fan experiences, yeah. so we're happy that, that that's what you had to say so oh far, but I'm sure that you made her day. And just traveling in general, what are some, when did you self-reflect like what happened that you look back and you were like whoa like because 1.5 million you look at that number and you're like that's impressive that means i got a lot of likes that means i got a lot of views that's great but when was the moment where you came out to an event and you were like people all over are really listening and they're really vibing to my music the first time i went on tour it was in new york and before because i never did a meet and greet i never like went out and saw fans so that was the first time i ever got to see my fans, because before that, it was always just a number on social media. Like, I always just saw a number in, like, comments. We've and never seen 1.5 million <laughs> of anything except, like, grains of sand or something, right? It's so <laughs> hard to know what that yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. So, so going out on the stage and, and just, like, seeing all my fans there, they're all, like, cheering for me. And, like, right, I, sang, I sang used to be, and they all sang back, and that's when I realized. I was like, damn. That feeling cool. again. So like, cool. I can't believe I'm here. I know. Yeah. I'm excited for you. It gives <laughs> okay. me the goosebumps. Al, we got another question? All right, yeah, so this one doesn't have a name, but I'll ask it for you, though. It says, what would 17 years old AJ would say to 7-year-old AJ? Where did that question come from? Hmm. That's you? <laughs> that was a great question. Hey, What's your awesome. name? Isabella. Um, stay focused in school. Because <laughs> I don't remember nothing. Nope. Literally talking to a group of people who skip school to be here, AJ. What oh, really? are you telling people to do? You guys rock. <laughs> there are exceptions, but overall, stay focused in school. That's stay a great one. What else you got, Al? Juliana. Juliana, where you at? Boom. Oh, she's, okay, preface this by telling you, Juliana is a singer also, and she is so excited to be here because she also does her own covers and does all her own things, and she wants to ask you. I saw you over there singing earlier. That's yes, so she has so many questions for you, but we're going to stick to the best. So what you got for us, girl? So obviously, I would, did you get a lot of help writing the songs on your hopeful album? And you kind of asked before the other part of my question, which was um, how much of your own personal experiences goes into it and how much is it things that you see happening to other people and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I've worked. <clears throat> Could you repeat that one more time, actually? 
How much That's help all. did you get writing the songs and the music on your Hopeful EP, and how much of your own personal experience went into it, and, and what was like things that you saw happening to other people that you wanted to write about and talk about? Yeah, definitely. I got a lot of help on this EP. Um, you know, I worked with, with, with so many different people. I mean, I wrote Hopeful, uh, and, I, and I wrote Girls, and the other songs ca uh, came to me. And I mean, Hopeful, hopeful, is, about, hopeful is about, you know, when I was posting those videos on social media and like when I released this EP, I was always just hopeful that people would enjoy it and people would listen to it and take the time to listen to it. Which That's clearly they I, have. Huh? Which clearly they have. Yeah. And we're yeah. all really excited about it. So since we're back to the EP, I do have to ask, what should we be expecting? Like, what does the future of writing music look like for you? What should we keep our eye out for? Keep your eye out for new music. All the time? All the time. And covers and videos and Insta posts and Facebook lives and... <laughs> For sure. All of that. All of that. All of that in the book. Okay. And where do you think that your music is going to evolve? Are you going to keep that 80s vibe? Do you think... When you look down the line, can you even, as a writer, say, my next album might be something like this and my album after that might be something like that? Or is it just too far in advance and you're like, I'm just going to work on this one project? I mean, I definitely, I definitely know... So yeah, it'll be like that 80s vibe. I, I know I want to throw a little bit of some like urban, urban kind of style, you know? Urban. So a little bit of everything that we love. Yeah, of course. All the influences that you get yeah. to spend time with all the time. Yeah. And what about topics? Because I know that we love to talk about girls, mm -hmm. and we'll probably get some subjects about sports and food mm -hmm. and pizza and burgers. Maybe not. There's one song. Am I getting in trouble for saying this? Chris, don't one worry. Song. Christina one loves us. One song is not about girls. It's actually called No Plans. Let's look forward to that one. I think that Come we just soon. got... We just got the down low. The hit exclusive. We're both going to get in trouble. It's yeah, okay. I didn't say that. It's okay. But we're so excited to hear that. And I mean, we don't have a date for that yet. No? Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> we're getting <laughs> no. I'll let you know. <laughs> You'll let us know. Hits, hits knows first. Well, cool. you guys were so excited. Does anybody have a last minute question that they want to ask? You're already here. AJ Mitchell is already sitting in front of you. Are we 100% sure? Okay, well then the last thing that we absolutely have to do to wrap things up, okay. because you're here at Hits Live, is that we have to take a group photo. So before we all get up to let's stand right up. over here to take that group photo, let's give a huge round of applause to AJ Mitchell! Thank you guys for coming. Thank you so much for coming.